Hi, this is Bonnie with the AWAI Travel Division, and I'm running a trial version of Lightroom 3. It just came out last week, and really it's been a lot of fun because I just came back from our stock photo workshop in Paris, and I've been able to sort of play around with my photos from that trip in the new Lightroom. So there's actually a bunch of really nice new features, but I want to tell you just about one of them today. It's in the Develop module. So let me find the photo it is that I wanted to work on. I'm in the library mode right now. Here we go. So I'm just going to click on the photo and then click on develop to go into the develop module. And then I'm going to come over here to the right and scroll down to where it says lens corrections. Lens Corrections is all new in Lightroom 3. This wasn't there at all before. And actually there's a couple of really cool things you can do with it. One thing that's really nice is that your camera senses the kind of lens that you have on it and then when you take a photo that data is put into the photo and then transferred into Lightroom. And so they programmed into Lightroom 3 corrections for those lenses. One way, a really easy way to just correct for whatever lens you're using is to click on Enable Profile Corrections. So you'll see that it's sensing that I was using a Nikon AF-SDX VR Zoom 18 to 200 millimeter lens. And when you correct, when you click on here, it's on right now, so it's already corrected. But I'll just click again, and you can see that there's some bowing in the image from my lens, and it's also sort of dark around the edges. My lens just always does that, so I can come down here and automatically correct for that. I like that a lot. Another thing that's really cool with the lens correction section is this manual option. So with this photo in particular you can see that I was standing on the ground photographing up towards these buildings and with the perspective the way it is it's making them look like they're falling backwards into the photo. Well I would like them to be standing up straight and that's something you used to have to do in Photoshop and it was kind of a cumbersome process but now you can do all of that right in Lightroom. It's really easy. You just come down to the vertical slider and start sliding it just a little bit at a time. And you'll notice that the buildings are starting to stand up straight. Now you don't want to take it too far because as you can see down around the edges, you're going to lose some of the photo from the edge and have to crop. But I like the way that this looks. It looks more like I'm photographing from a second story or third story window instead of down on the ground. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with that and then I'm going to come up to my crop tool and just pull in the edges a little bit to crop out that gray. And maybe get that one little edge and there we go. Now we have a corrected photo. There are all kinds of new features in here, like I was saying earlier, and um, actually the import process is, is a lot easier too now. Um, it's very visual, so you can see more easily where your photos are going when you're taking them off of your camera's memory card and then putting them either on your computer or your external hard drive. Um, so that process has gotten a lot easier, and we're going to be releasing a few videos to show you how to do that later on.